Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now look at the example 1, page 279. Solve the differential equation y over x is equivalent to dy over dx. So what is the first step? We have here y over x is equivalent to dy over dx. y dx is actually equivalent to x dy. Then put x and y to one side. Therefore, 1 over x dx is actually equivalent to 1 over y dy. So, integrate both sides. So, what you will get here is integrate 1 over x. So, you will get ln. So, ln modulus of x. Then, equivalent to ln modulus of y. Then, we have here plus c. Or, we can just put ln modulus of y is actually equivalent to ln modulus of x plus c. Then we want to put y as a subject. So y, how to remove that ln? So it will become e power of ln modulus of x plus c. So we have here y is equivalent to e power of ln x times e power of C. We have here e power of c. So let's say we let our e power of c is equivalent to a or any constant. Therefore, what will be your y at the end? Y is equivalent to or e power of ln x. So we do have property when you have e power of ln x. So it is actually equivalent to x. This one will become x. Then this one is a. So what will be your final answer? A. x. So this is your Final answer. Now look at to the example 2, page 280. dy over dx is equivalent to 1 minus y and your y is less than 1. And the values of y is equivalent to 0 when your x is equivalent to 0. Okay, so what is the first step? Let's say we put the question first here. dy over dx is equivalent to 1 minus y. So you have to separate the equation. So when you try to separate, you have dy over 1 minus y is equivalent to dx. So what is the next step? You have to integrate. You will get 1 over 1 minus y dy is equivalent to the grade of dx substitution method. So when you let u is equivalent to 1 minus y, du is equivalent to negative dy, negative du is equivalent to dy. So therefore, we have here negative 1 over u du. Then you integrate 1 over u du. So you will get negative ln modulus of u, negative ln modulus of 1 minus y. Integrate 1 over 1 minus y dy is equivalent to integrate dx. So after using substitution method, so you get negative ln modulus of 1 minus y is equivalent to x plus c. Then ln modulus of 1 minus y is actually equivalent to negative x minus c. And then 1 modulus of 1 minus y is actually equivalent to e power of negative x minus c. 1 minus y is equivalent to e power of negative x minus c. Okay, you are given when your y is equivalent to 0, x is equivalent to 0. Therefore, 1 minus 0 is equivalent to e power of 0 minus c. Then 1 is equivalent to e power of negative c. e power of 0 is actually equivalent to 1 is equivalent to e power of negative c. Therefore, your c is equivalent to 0. Okay, next substitute in the equation here. So, when your c is equivalent to 0, what will be your final answer? 1 minus y is equivalent to e power of negative x minus c, so minus 0. Therefore, your y is equivalent to 1 minus e power of negative x. So, this is your final answer. 
Now look at the example 3, page 280. Find the general solution for the R d theta over dr is equivalent to cos squared theta. So R d theta over dr is equivalent to cos squared theta. We have to separate the variable. d theta over cos squared theta is equivalent to 1 over R dr. So, the next step, we have to integrate. So, when you integrate both sides, so you will get 1 over cos squared theta of the d theta is equivalent to integrate 1 over r dr. And what is 1 over cos squared theta? So, you can change in terms of secant. So, secant squared theta, d theta is equivalent to integrate 1 over r dr. Tangent theta then is equivalent to ln modulus of r then plus c so e power of tangent theta is equivalent to e power of ln modulus of r plus c e power of ln modulus of r times with the e power of c okay let's see we let our e power of c is equivalent to capital c so therefore our e power of Tangent theta is equivalent to e power of ln modulus of r times with c. Therefore, your e power of tangent theta is equivalent to. So, this one will become r by using properties of exponential function and then time c. So, what will be your final answer? It's just e power of tangent theta is equivalent to cr or you can just leave it like this or like this so this is your final answer